Okay, okay, so here's the situation. You're on a pier, being dragged by a helicopter. Happens to all of us, nothing to be ashamed of. So you're on a pier, getting near the end. You got the piers, you got the piers. There you go, you're on the pier. It's a wooden pier. Your helicopter is pulling you at an angle of 45 degrees. No. 45 degrees above the horizon. And incidentally, on this wooden pier, you're also wearing wooden shoes. Now, wooden shoes give you a coefficient of kinetic friction of 0 0.2. That's going to come up later. So, we're trying to find the total force acting on your body as you're being dragged down the pier by a helicopter at 45 degrees above the horizon. And, hey look, I got a marker. Isn't that nice? Okay, so let's start out by laying out our basic formula here. So, the helicopter is pulling you. Now, this is 500 newtons, but this component is considerably smaller. So, this is the adjacent to the angle, which would make this the cosine. So, the force, the applied force, um, so this would be the applied force. Now, by the way, you're going to, in order to get the sum of the force, you're going to have to subtract the force of friction. More on that later, and that's going to equal ma. By the way, this is you, this is not me. Your numbers will be slightly different for m. Okay, so the applied force. Applied force is going to be the same for all of us, by the way. Um, 500, but only part of that is actually going to moving you forward. So that's the adjacent side, so it'll be 500 cosine 45 degrees. So that is the applied force, minus the force of friction. Force of friction is, now in this case we're being dragged, so it's kinetic friction, times the normal force. Now, word about the normal force. Normally, flat pier, it's going to be equal to the force of gravity, but something else is going on here. As it pulls you forward, it's also pulling you upward. And that's going to reduce the force with which your wooden shoes are hitting the wooden pier. And that's going to reduce the normal force pushing up on you. And that is going to reduce the force of friction equals ma. So, going along here, 500 cosine 45 degrees um, minus coefficient of friction 0 0.2. The normal force is going to be the force of gravity minus the amount you're being pulled up with. This was cosine of 45 degrees, so that's got to be sine. And it's also the opposite. There's another reason it's got to be sine. So, 500 sine 45 degrees. So, your force of gravity minus that. By the way, force of gravity, everybody should actually know this. Um, it's going to be your mass times 9.8. We'll get the masses in next. What do you say? Okay, so... Let's get all the numbers in here and we'll just start doing math, okay? 500, still 500, cosine 45 degrees um, minus 0 0.2. Force of gravity is your mass. Now, my mass is 108.9, or is it 109.8? 108.9, 109.8. What did I say? 108.9. 108.9 times the force of gravity, Earthlings, 9.8. That's the force of gravity minus 500 sine 45 degrees. And that equals my mass, 108.9 times acceleration. That's the whole thing we're trying to find out here. So, cosine is uh, 45, that'd be 500 times 0 0.707 minus 0 0.2 times this multiplied together. I think I got 106, 1067.22. Double checking. Yes, I did. 1067.22 minus 
Now, by the way, one of the reasons I love 45 degree angles is that the sine and the cosine are the same. So, I've already got it there, don't I? Okay, so it's going to be 500 sine 45 is 0 times 0 0.707 equal to 108.9 times acceleration because we're the whole thing is to find out that little a at the end, okay? So, multiplying these together, and what did I get? 353, uh, 353.5 minus 0 0.2 times, let's see, 1067.22 minus 353.5 is equal to 108.9 acceleration. Okay, going down here, 353.5 minus 0 0.2 times Okay, 1067 minus 353.5, uh, let's see, I did that once upon a time, what did I get? I got 713.72, eh, can't be right, oh well, um, and of course, the whole thing equals 108.9a, so, Multiply this together, and I get 353.5 minus 0.2 times that is 142.74, equals the same thing as before, nothing on the right side has changed yet, 353, um, subtract it and I get 210.75 is equal to 108.9a. So what did I find here? All that work was just to find this. So all that work was simply to give me the sum of the forces, which are gonna equal ma, but I got them now. Now let's solve this puppy, okay? So 210.75 newtons is equal to my mass, 108.9 times acceleration. Divide both sides by 108.9, and I get 1.94 meters per second squared. Actually, it's only going to be 1.9 because we're going to round it to two sig figs is equal to acceleration. Now, you're probably bigger than me, which means that you're probably going to actually not be accelerated as much. You'll be heavier because the, the amount of force going in here, that's all the same. All that's the same for everybody. Uh, the only difference is I'm more massive. Now, you might say, wait a second. If you're more massive, does that mean there's going to be no more force of friction resisting your motion? Yes. But it's not going to be anywhere near as much well, actually, I'm not so sure. Um, that's why I got you. You should find out. Um, it'll be interesting to see. But you should accelerate faster than me. The more I think, yeah, the more I think about it, you're going to accelerate faster than me. Because not only do you have less, you have less drag, and you're going to have less mass. So two things you're going to have that are going to be less, that are slowing you down. So you should be accelerating faster than me. And if not, um, let me know, and we'll try to figure out what went wrong. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.